on the Supermax uh, 2550 again here this morning and I'm trying to get these in feed and out feed tables really tuned in to where they're level and these things have not been my friend. They're kind of a piece of garbage in my opinion. It's, it's really a shame you have a, a really nice, you know, high calibrated tool like this and then they throw on a garbage uh, out feed table <laughs> accessory. Um, but the, the problem is on these on these braces here uh, They're they're attached to a, a main frame back here. You've got a little set screw and you've got a bigger Allen head Bigger set screw there. Those are the only things that hold that bracket to the body of the um, Sander and you can't really move them a whole lot and these out here will wiggle up and down because they're actually they're made that you can push this pin and you can fold it down. So this can actually, I don't know if you guys can see that, pick it up and down, right? Um, and then, so it can it can fold up and down. It doesn't have any, you know, you see it, pull it all the way down. It can't go any lower than that, but it can always rise up. And then this top table on it can also be adjusted with these two carriage bolts. So the problem was I was trying to adjust it and I can't hold it all you know, with one hand while tightening bolts on the other and it was all, it kept getting all catawampus. So what I finally figured I could do was I put a piece of, this is actually one of our doors that we're using, put a piece of stock in the sander so it's level on the belt and let it extend out here and stick out and then loosened all four of these bolts here, the four carriage bolts, two on each side, pulled this frame all the way down as far as it would go and then clamped the table itself back to the workpiece to hold it up. Now the workpiece did flex just a little bit just under the weight of the clamps and so then I had to cheat it and I put a little shim back there just to bring up this outer end and compensate for that flex. So when I take my clamps loose now, you can see it still flexes a little bit. Well anyway, okay, so I had a phone call come through but uh, I'm taking the clamps off now and you can see it's still it still sags a little bit. Um, but you see, I'm, I'm having to pull the board down to it. I'm trying to see. The board is, eh, it's not quite touching there. So it's, actually, you know what? If I take my shim out now. Let me see here, see if I can pick this up just a hair. Hey, that ain't bad, is it? That ain't bad. Not bad, Nicholas. It's a lot better than it was anyway, but about the best I can do with it. Like I said, it's a uh, poor design. It's just, I, I, and I don't know how you make it better. This thing really, to make it better, you can't have this be a flexible component. This needs to be a rigid, bolted um, arm, which means it couldn't fold. Um, and then you need to be able to have independent leveling screws underneath each corner is, is probably how I would look at it. But, you know, for right now, we're in a pretty small shop. I mean, this, this is it. You know, this is a 30 by 40 and we filled it up quick. Um, so we're making plans for a bigger shop. And when we do, hopefully we'll be able to get some better, you know, be able to have longer, larger in feed out feed tables. That's what you really need to build up to do this stuff more effectively. So anyway, I've got this one tuned in. I'm gonna check this one and uh, see if I can't fix it a little bit. And that'll be it.